Hey everyone, I am here at Huntley Meadows Park. This is one of my favorite places to see and film wildlife. And let's take a look at what you can find at this amazing resource for the community. You'll be able to view plenty of songbirds, as well as the periodic deer grazing off in the distance. Make sure to also pay close attention to the trail right in front of you, as life often decides to pass right beneath your feet like this spotted turtle outside of the water to lay her eggs. But what makes Huntley Meadows really cool are its wetlands. You can see all sorts of interesting aquatic insects like dragonflies or beautiful flowers like these swamp mallows. There are all sorts of aquatic mammals like beavers and muskrats feeding and building their homes with the swamp's vegetation. Bird watchers also love this place for the many aquatic birds that gather here, like hungry herons looking for frogs or fish to eat, and waterfowl like ducks and geese that dabble for aquatic vegetation right below the surface. And that's not all that's beneath the surface. So every year you can see a reddish tint to the water, um, usually around August in the, the summertime, and that's actually a huge bloom of algae that's occurring in these waters. Let's take a closer look at what's been growing in Huntley Meadows. Beneath the surface, Huntley Meadows is bursting to the seams with microscopic life. All sorts of weird and wonderful creatures, each in its own struggle to survive, find food, and reproduce. But which of these odd organisms is causing the blood red tint to Huntley Meadows waters? Perhaps you can spot spots of color in this underwater microscopic landscape. Microscopic red marbles float at the surface and they fill the guts of larger life forms that have sucked them in from the surrounding water. Now, I'm no microbiologist, but my guess is that this is the single-celled life form known as Hematococcus, a creature known for turning bird baths bright red. Songbirds and waterfowl have been known to transport it on their feet and feathers as they travel from water source to water source. This probably means that Huntley Meadows wildlife is perfectly safe in this red water. Some creatures certainly like this plentiful food, the equivalent of a Thanksgiving dinner. I should also note that this creature produces a compound called astaxanthin, which is used in a lot of our cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and agriculture. In short, this algal bloom is perfectly safe, although I'm not a microbiologist, so everything I've told you could be a lie. And on that unsettling note, that's all for this week. If you want to see more, check out my YouTube or Instagram, where I have all sorts of cool wildlife content. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.